Hey folks, we're back. And what we're going to do here is I'm just going to work on this uh, Von Lechner here. Could work on probably a uh, Jenner, but I'll do this tank first. It, the steps are all the same. Everything. So basically what I'm going to do here is I get take my paint here, put a little bit on my brush, and just at an angle here, because we already put the, the wash on, you go perpendicular to, it's like you look at a something, and you see all the cracks and crevices that are on it, and you go perpendicular, so you're 90 degrees opposite of what you're looking at. And just go with the edge of your brush. So you're like, let's say my finger, I'm going across it. So you're only hitting the highlighted areas. You're trying not to get into the cracks. And you look at how the cracks are set up on a, this vehicle. And it's like, all right, I see how they're laid out. And I'm just going 90 degrees perpendicular to them. So I am not putting any paint into the cracks at all. So that retains most of my darker lower areas that I created with the wash. And I'm just going across it and lightening up with the base color first. So I can... Uh, and you also see that I'm knocking off most of the uh, paint. What the heck? How did that happen? Okay, it's just a piece of flash. How did that survive through the cleanup process? I don't know. But you're just going across it and then you're just maintaining your low levels or layers that are darker and so you bring up a little bit of color aspect is it this one is just you can be kind of neat with it this is a large vehicle to begin with even though it's small now the next thing I want to do is just add a little bit of brown to my base color. That will lighten it up just a tad towards the brown shade of it. And I'm doing the same thing, but only trying to catch the edges. So that way, there's very little paint that's on my brush. And you're seeing that there's that layered effect is starting to take effect pretty decently. So now you're looking at something that is got three shades of color already. And the next step is going to be going over with a really lighter green color and you, what you do is you're going to look at when I'm doing this I'm trying to figure out what um, areas I want to be really light green what I'm going to do here is go over it and mix my last color together in this little mess and I'll we'll show you in a second here I like my sun's up and I'm moving around works night nice shifts I'm trying to get those road wheels along there with some color so yeah, you, know, you got your depth in there pretty decently. Now, got that. So now the next color, which is a worm green from P3. And <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is 
add just a little bit of that color in to that and that is going to put it on the really lighter green and you're just going on the very edges so that's like what you're looking at where the light is shining the most so you're going to catch the corners of something so you're going to look at that and I'm basically just mixing my colors right here in my little palette like area. El cheapo piece of paper. You don't need anything special in life to do these. You just need something to bring out the colors. And almost everything I uh, do is mixed myself. Because I, you know, you. you what they provide you, you know, the paint companies, you know, like P3 and Games Workshop and those guys, what they do is they're just providing you a base color. You know, many different shades nowadays. But if you take multiple different colors, mix them together, and keep it either what you call a paint log or something of that nature where you're looking at it, and you keep track of these things in your uh, um, repertoire over the years. You just like, oh, okay, I want this shade, or I want this shade. And you can come out with some pretty cool stuff in the end. And there you go. Now, if you looked at this, the pitch, yeah, it's not that great with my camera but you can see there's three you can tell if you looked at this in person you're like whoa it's like a lot of depth in this thing and then what I'll do next after I finish doing all these other ones now I gotta go through and uh, um, highlight all the metallics. There's a bunch of metallics in here, like where the radiator grills are, etc. Stuff that I want to make look different. And then the road wheels or the treads, I usually put a little bit of silver on it and then wash with a, uh, I got a special wash here. And then I make myself, it's an old Nuln oil. It's basically Nuln oil with uh, some P3 paints put into it, mixed together, and you get this kind of a dirty, rusted brown look. And being an individual that spent many years on tanks, anything that uh, is exposed to oxidation and movement will end up being. Uh, Turned into rust real quick. I want a really light green shade now. And I'm going to go just like a worn effect on the corners. There we go. Brings it out nice and neat. All right. As you can see this, and better than my little crappy phone, but hey, it's what you got, you use. Alright, be back in a little bit.